Hello and welcome to the T-Gray Pup channel. In this video I'll be doing a review of L'Oreal's Effasol color remover on hair that has semi-permanent hair color on it. If this topic interests you then please keep watching. Okay, to start off, we're going to look at the website description and see what the website says. Okay, so this is what it looks like on Sally Beauty website. As you can see, it's six, I mean, seven sixty nine, and this is <clears throat> to remove color on permanent hair color, as you can see here. And it makes it, um, it strips the old tint so you can put new tint. Here are the ingredients, and um, as you can see, it's telling you to look at the uh, individual packet to see you know what the instructions are for usage and I'm going to go over this in just a second okay so here is a packet that I happen to have and as you can see at the very top it says foaming bath washes away permanent hair color leaving it hair ready for recoloring uh, removes color built up muddy looking permanent hair color uh, does not restore hair to natural hair color okay in this particular video, I'm using this to remove a semi-permanent hair color. It's two totally different things. And the only reason why I said that, I'm giving it a test because I saw a, a YouTube video. Uh, it was a short, a lady had used it on her hair and it came out really well. So I decided to try it on my mannequin to remove um, some hair color, semi-permanent hair color off of her hair. And that's what this video is about. So if you were, you wanted to use this product in the correct manner this is supposed to be used on a permanent uh, hair that's been permanently hair colored not to remove semi-permanent hair colors so uh, just letting you know uh, this is the difference okay as you can see we have different options for um, methods of removing the hair color I decided to go with the medium shades uh, permanent hair color 46 uh, that's what she used I'm assuming because uh, you see at the very bottom it says 50 minutes or an hour. I did not leave it in that long. As soon as I saw lift, I took it out. So um, let's continue with the video. Okay, so pro tips. It just says uh, for all over color remover, apply shampoo. You know, so we're going to do it uh, this way just for this video. And we'll see how this all turns out. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the reviews. As you can see here is 3.2 six out of five which is you know it's an okay rating and literally everyone on here says it's like bleach and it strips your hair and your hair feels like straw and breaking and all that other stuff so um i guess we'll see you know when we do our tests whether or not uh this is um a problem we'll have okay so uh let's continue watching Okay, so just real briefly, I'm just going to give you uh, this particular mannequin she was use, used in a previous video. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description just to kind of give you her hair history. And um, this is her current hair color, so um, just letting you know. Okay, so here's the current hair color we're working with. Her hair has faded quite a bit. It's been a year since I've actually um, did this mannequin's hair. So this is our starting point. Okay, so right here, I'm just doing a little pre-cutting because uh, I didn't want to waste any um, product uh, on things that I'm not going to, you know, have an end result with. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I was going to do uh, like a little shave in the back. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing, like a little shave in the back. And I'm going to give her like a, a one length bob. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you see me doing here. Just kind of like prep preparation for you know what's to come so i won't have to be wasting product on hair that's not going to even be there in the very end anyway so um i could use less product and take less time so that's what you see me doing here
Okay, so here is uh, the L'Oreal Effisol Color Remover. Again, this is supposed to have been used on permanent hair color, but in this case, I'm using it on semi-permanent hair color because I saw it in the video, and we're just going to give it a chance and see what happens, okay? All right, just stirring this product up, um, it actually does look very much like bleach to me. Um, it's very runny. Um, I'll try to show you in a second. Soupy. Uh, so... Um, yeah, I'm applying it in the first section, uh, starting in the front, because if anything comes out lighter, I want the front to be lighter than the back. So I'm just going to do like this front portion and work my way over to the other side and then eventually work my way to the back. And it's picking up pretty quickly because once I do get into like almost onto the other side, you'll already see lift. So that was like really amazing because I was like, wow, this product is really, you know, it's really good. Um, so I'm just taking my brush and trying not to spill any product anywhere because like I said it has a runny uh, liquidy uh, consistency as you can see our, I've already got lift it's uh, it was a, a bright uh, fuchsia purpley look and now you can see it's actually starting to turn more of a yellowy type of look as you can see already before I even get it into the other side so uh, we're just working this in as fast as I possibly can and we're going to work this in until we do the entire head. So just keep watching if you would like to see my uh, method of doing this.
Okay, so here's what the hair is looking like while it's being processed. Um, the back seemed like it wasn't taken very, very well. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue going and see what happens next, okay? Okay, so here's what the hair is looking like after, we, after we've shampooed the hair. Uh, we didn't quite yet condition it because I'm going to be using a semi-permanent hair color eventually. So right here, I'm going in for the true haircut. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Just kind of like, um, giving her a nice, even, uh, level bob here. I blow dried the hair with a cool, uh, blast. Okay. And as you can see, her hair is pretty fried. Okay. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Also, if you feel these videos are beneficial and would like to support the channel, please consider making a contribution to my cash app at dollar sign the letter t pup tutorial the letter n review thanks okay so up next i'm going to give a close-up of what the color remover did uh on this side as you can see uh it took out most of the color it has a bit of a green tinge i used three different sections from the previous hair color if you saw in that video so um this is one side the very back it must have had a very orange or red um pigment or something so it didn't really take it out too much but then again I took it out I probably took it out too early because I was afraid I was going to melt her hair off so um there you have it and on this side it was pretty clean I mean I thought maybe um it removed all the color or remaining color so that's just a close-up of what I see and hopefully you can see that as well um so that's my experience on to the next step Okay, so now I'm going in with my semi-permanent hair color um, using the Chrome Silk Vivids. And I want to say this is red. Yes, it's in red. Um, I'm going in with a little conditioner, um, as you can see here, to kind of try to stretch it a little bit and um, make it, you know, more easily make it easier to apply okay so just going in um just applying it to the hair as you can see it has like a copper uh, you know like an orange copper base it's not red red it's like a red orange in my opinion i don't that's what i'm seeing or a hint of orange okay so this is what the hair is looking like while it's being processed uh semi-permanent hair color at room temperature i did not use a heated dryer or anything like that and i applied it uh after shampooing no conditioner Okay, so here's a reminder what the hair looked like before. As you can see here, we have three different shades. And just giving you a 360 of what that's looking, well, it was looking like. And here's the final result where as you can see um, the color. As you can see, it's even throughout. You would have never guessed it had three different shades previous. It's all even in one tone. Okay, so up next, I'm going to show you the difference um, of the... Uh, the final color as you can see this has a green tinge to it uh, like I said previously um, moving on to the next clip as you can see that red pretty much took all of that out as you can see it's very beautiful even tone you'd have never guessed that they had anything green going on and on to the next section okay here's the back of the the previous color as you can see it has an orange orangey tinge peachy corally whatever and as you can see here it took that pretty much out and evened that out very well and um yeah it looks pretty even and i'm loving it i hope you are too okay so here's the final side this side um like i said it didn't look like it had very much of a pigment left or remaining after the color remover um as you can see her hair looks pretty rough and dry and here is the finished uh, look on this side. As you can see, it's a huge improvement. The hair is very bright and even. I don't see any line of demarcation or anything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my opinion. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the cost. It's $7.69 for such a small packet. And if you have longer hair, the cost can really add up. So in that case, I don't think that's a really good um, bargain. But uh, on to the next uh, thing.
Okay, so up next, I want to talk about accessibility. Uh, this can be picked up at any Sally's that I've seen, but sometimes, like I said, uh, well, I haven't said, but it's not in stock or it's low in stock, uh, but they're also, I believe I've seen it at some beauty supply stores. So um, the accessibility is, you know, pretty hit and miss in my opinion. Well, at least in my area. But um, yeah, that's something also to think about. Okay, so up next, I'm going to talk about the result. I am very impressed as far as like what the hair it was able to lift out of the hair. I really like it in this particular case because, uh, you know, individual results vary. Um, but the hair is very dry and fried and, and it's going to be in need of some deep, some serious conditioning and tender loving care because, um, I mean, it wrecks the hair. So just keep that in mind when you're making a purchase and a considering applying this on your hair for semi-permanent hair color which is what i'm using this for in this video okay so in my final uh opinion i when um i think of all the things that i just mentioned previous as far as like you know the pros and cons i believe this is an okay product but i'm going to keep searching for a semi-permanent um hair color remover uh, that isn't quite as damaging so if you would like to keep up with this journey maybe you should subscribe and like my channel and share it with your friends and family maybe just a thought okay so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and as always thanks for watching